be safe out there have fun and what's up everybody i'm luke with ride bikes more and today i am at icycles for a bike shop interview with danny now before i get started with the interview i want to say special thanks to everyone that's been following liking leaving comments we really appreciate that remember we're going to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time be a hero dm me for some of this awesome gear check the website if you want a helmet to be safe out there and if you're not already following, remember to follow because it makes you feel good. Oh. <laughs> Danny, I really appreciate your time today. So why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and your biking background? Yeah, my name is Danny Sanchez. I've lived in the area for quite some time and been cycling ever since I was a kid. In fact, the owner of the shop was one of the first people to give me a bike. So I've been involved with bikes ever since I was a kid. As far as that goes, I'm just a mechanic here at iCycle Bike Shop, and uh, we pretty much just do that. Fix, sell, and build anything you're looking for. How can people find iCycle? Well, you can go to several. We got our Instagram and our Facebook, so you can try those out at iCycle Bike Shop, or just come on up here. What are your hours and what's uh, the location? We are at 2040 East TC Gesture between Ella and 18th Street, and we're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. I really appreciate that. So we had a bunch of people that had some questions for you, and we have them here for you. Now, I apologize if I get your Instagram name wrong, but we're just going to go ahead and get started. The <laughs> first one is from Army Mike 209 He says, how to rebuild fork shops on an MTB? Okay, my man. That's kind of difficult to answer in one shot here. But your best bet to get your best results is just to go to the bike shop that sells that part, and see if they even have their rebuild kits. I know after at least five, maybe 10 years, they no longer make those rebuild kits. And due to COVID, most of that stuff has been bought. So definitely check out your local bike shops and they will be able to help you out a lot better. Okay, thank you. Next question from Real Nick Status. Where did you learn how to fix bikes? I learned right here and off the internet. Um, Several of the mechanics here trained me, and then you can go online and pretty much learn everything they do here as well. You can even go to specific sites like Shimano's, and they will actually give you a certification if you run through their course. So there are several ways, or you can go out of state and do an actual school where they teach you how to do such things. Awesome. Next question from, I think it's LG Sus Drinks Lacquer Thinner. How to start working at a bike shop as a teenager your best bet is just go in and first and see if uh, they uh, have any uh, room second try to learn how to ready fix on bikes having some experience does help most bike shops do look for at least a year's worth of experience these bikes aren't as easy as just throwing handlebars and pedals on them it takes us even on a BMX bike about an hour hour and a half to fully tune these things so go online do your work and then try to apply and you should have no problem getting in if uh, you have some form of knowledge. Maybe the basics, how to yes, change of flats. The exactly, exactly. Awesome, awesome. Now we got another question from A. Annalise 98 What are some things bike owners neglect to do for their bikes? Is oil the chain properly? You see a lot of riders with these oil tracks across their legs or their pants and that's just because they either put too much oil or they just never clean it. So change your, clean your bike chain at least once a month. And once you apply the oil with a nice dry rag, wipe off the excess. It doesn't have to be dripping wet. And that'll make the bike run a lot better and not leave those ugly tracks. Definitely checking your air pressure every time your ride helps. And if not, at least going to having a checkup once a year. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Fix Gecko, how to properly put on a chain ring? There's only a couple kinds of chain rings um, if you have a BMX bike it's pretty simple it's just either a four or five bolt or it's just one center bolt if it's a road bike they'll go the same thing about five bolts and each individual ring should come off on its own unless you have a really inexpensive bike where they're actually just pit bracketed in gotcha appreciate that angel on the bike what's the best bike for 800 bucks for wheelies 
Well, my man, you know, as that goes, if you know how to wheelie one, you can wheelie them all. But from what we see here, a lot of people do like the fatter tire bikes and the 29ers for their wheelies. So uh, really it's up to you uh, which one feels better and which one's easier for you to pull up. Awesome, thank you. Are there any bicycle social issues you want to discuss? Yes, following traffic laws. I know everybody's out there having fun and riding on these big bike rides, but to keep the police from being involved, we got to follow traffic laws. So that means stay on the right side, let other cars pass through, and try not to run as many lights as possible. Luckily, the Houston Police Department has been really nice to us, and they usually stop the roads when they can, but following traffic laws would definitely help everybody. Here at Ride Bikes More, we always say keep it legal, keep it safe, safety first. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, yeah, I got a couple shout outs to Clutch City Cruiser Rides, Space City, Midnight Riders, and the Illegal Amigos. Awesome, awesome. Are, are those some of the rides yeah, that you Yeah, those do? are some of the bike crews that do the rides here around Houston. And a lot of them you can find on Instagram or on, sometimes on Facebook. Look them up. They have cool, fun rides. Just be safe. What, what kind of bike do you ride? Uh, I ride a 24-inch BMX bike. But, you know, these rides are all bikes. So no matter what you have, it's a nice, fun, slow-paced ride. You guys should uh, have plenty of fun. Anything else you want to mention? No, I think we've covered pretty much all the basics, my man. Just other than that, it's just be safe out there, have fun, and just enjoy yourself, man. It's pretty much what it comes down to. On behalf of Ride Bikes More, here is a sticker for you. Appreciate it. Come out to iCycle, see Danny and his crew out here. I could not have said it better. For Ride Bikes More, we are out. All right, brother. Thank nice. you.